Hi there food lovers! In this video, I am going to share my take on adobong sitaw recipe with beef or you can also use pork if you like. Alright, so let's start! For the ingredients, you are going to need beef cut into strips, string beans or we call this sitaw, garlic chopped, soy sauce, brown sugar, vinegar, ground pepper and salt, water and canola oil. Those are the ingredients. Now, let's start! I have a pot with water, let it come to a boil, and then you are going to add your string beans. We call it, or they call this blanching, however in my case, after exactly a minute, I strain it and then just set it aside as opposed to put it into an iced water to stop the cooking process. So in a bowl, you are going to combine soy sauce, vinegar, and brown sugar. You have to give it a good stir, like so. Make sure that the sugar is fully dissolved. Next is you're going to get a pan. Heat up some canola oil. And once it's nice and hot, you're going to saute the garlic for about 2-3 to three minutes on low heat. Cook it until golden brown or fragrant. Add the meat in. Then you're going to adjust the heat to medium. Brown it for about 5 minutes while stirring constantly right after five minutes this is what it looks like then you are going to season it with salt and ground black pepper anyway all the exact measurements are in the description box down below so you can check that out and kind of like have a guide on the sauce mixture Then you're going to just, you know, give it a good mix. After doing so, you're going to add in the sauce and water. Cover that for 10 to 15 minutes until meat is soft. Next is you're going to add the string beans. Then mix it all up. You're going to cook and cover it with the lid for just a minute. After five, I mean not five, after a minute, this is what it looks like. Then you're going to continue cooking it for additional for one to two minutes or until sita or the green beans is crisp. I'm just giving a good mix right here. Then at this time, you can adjust it according to your desired taste. And there you have it. Adobong sitaw recipe with beef and this really came out good. It was so delicious with, of course, white rice. Alright, so your adobong sitaw is ready to serve. Thank you for watching.